Uh, WAI, KBB, Matt Roy in uh, San Antonio. So often we don't get the punter and center uh, at the press conference. Can you guys just walk us through the, the play heard around the world uh, at the end of the first half? Yeah, so we practiced it probably 10, 15 times and never completed it in practice. Um, I wasn't even supposed to throw the ball to him. No. I was a he's been telling me, Yeah, he's been telling me all week, man, he's going to be open, and if I throw it to him, he'll catch it. So not quite how we drew it up, but it worked. So take it. What did you, what'd you see uh, over there, Alex? Well, I just I, once I got, as I think a receiver would say, to the top of my route, um, <laughs> <laughs> I uh, – I noticed that nobody was guarding me, so I kind of just settled down, and I saw him look over at me and throw it, and the only thought through my head is, I really hope I don't drop this. So, Brad, who's the, who's the place supposed to go to? I don't know. Can we tell him? I don't know if we can tell him. Yeah, because we might run it again since it didn't go how it was planned. <laughs> so, I can't tell you. You might have to wait and see. Sorry. <laughs> Alex, when you see that ball in the air, your eyes kind of <laughs> pop out of your head a little bit. And was it, what was that moment like as it started to fall towards you? Um... I felt like it was in the air for like 10 seconds, I'll be honest. <laughs> that was like, uh, that was pretty much, I, my mind went blank. I was like, the only thing that went into my mind was, uh, don't drop this. And uh, yeah, that was it. And then as soon as you grabbed it, you're thinking, I, I, now I have to score this. Oh, when I turned around and didn't see anybody immediately next to me, I was like, I got to score. It's going to happen. It's got to happen. You don't have to catch, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Got that yak. Yeah. And then Brad, when you were, Surveying the field of all of your options, and you you see Alex, you know, kind of wide open in the middle of the field. But you're like, okay, let's just try this one, see if this one works. Yeah, as I was going through my progression, <laughs> um, no, there's no progression. Like I said, it's meant to be a one route play, and everyone else is a dummy route. So I'm not even supposed to look at these guys. But he was just wide open in the middle of the field, and um, it just worked. I got some good blocks up front, so um, it worked out. Made some shake. Mm -hmm. And then for either of you guys, when you coming into your first season and, and thinking about all the things you were preparing for in your first game, and you knowing this is probably in the back of your head, were you ever thinking that you were going to be, you know, here at the press conference afterwards talking about, a, you know, one of the best touchdowns we're probably going to see in the UFL? No, definitely not. I play offensive line too, so like maybe if he pins them inside the ten a hundred times, that's one thing. But usually people don't see anything from offensive linemen, so. Yeah, and I'm usually giving the ball to the other team, so it's nice <laughs> to give it to someone on my team for a change. I know it seemed like Donald, you know, kicked one before you guys went back for that fake play. Were you always going to run the fake there, or how did you get to that point? That's all a part of it. He missed on purpose because we knew they were going to call a timeout, yeah. and then uh, we called the fake. It was just exactly how, how it was supposed to go. Do you think it's important for this team to do something like that that just sort of generates a spark and some interest? How valuable is that, you know, first game in a new league? Yeah, I mean, it's it's – for me, it's good that the coaches have that trust in us, you know, to go out there and do that. Um, but, yeah, I think it definitely, like, give this, gave us a little spark. Um, and it's always good when you can do that for the team on special teams, for sure. Alex, how do you feel about that? Just kind of creating some excitement today and then coming away with the win as well. Um, I mean, yeah. Like, he, I mean, everything he said and, you know, stuff like that really bonds teams together. You know, like special moments like that. You know, we all got to, you know, celebrate together and play as a team, even though I thought um, – I know coaches said it a bunch in interviews, but we're a really close team anyway. Um, stuff like that just makes the bond even tighter. So it's pretty pretty awesome for us. How would you guys feel about the crowd and the environment today overall for this game? Honestly, um, I thought it was great. I thought it was great. They were loud. People showed up. You know, I know it's Easter, and everyone. I'm glad everyone. Hope everyone got to go to church and celebrate. You know, the real reason for today. But you know, I was glad that people got to make it out to the game if they went to that early service. Uh, Alex, speaking to the, the offensive output today, last year was a rather inept uh, offense for the Brahmas. Now, year two, you guys came out, you scored four touchdowns today, 27 points, which blows away a lot of the averages from last year. What do you guys have going and clicking well on offense, and how can you maintain that throughout the rest of the season? Well, I think it comes down, at the end of the day, is trust. It, you know, we got to trust Coach AJ. He, um, he put us in great positions to make plays. We got to trust our quarterback. Um, he did a great job today. And uh, up front, you know, that's all it is anyway. It's five men, one mind. We, as long as we trust each other going into the game plan and going into the game, I think we'll be successful. We'll continue to be successful. We just got to keep that trust. And then uh, I believe Coach Wade went for it on three uh, fourth downs in the first half, of the last of which being the play that got, put you guys on this podium. But uh, what does that say about Wade's confidence in you guys 
to go out and just get yourself a yard, three yards, or 40 yards, and uh, put this team in a position to win. Trust again. You know, it's crazy that he trusts us that much. Like Brad said, just, you know, the confidence that they have in us is, is awesome to see because, you know, everywhere you go, that's not always the case. So for him to trust the offense, trust special teams, trust our coaching staff, um, that just says a lot about who Coach Wade is as a person as well. Are you guys going to be beating the table for over the next week or two to get some more offensive plays in there or what? Yeah, we might have to mm-hmm. throw up a couple new folks. Yeah. Like that. Oh, yeah. yeah. That might be a wide out next time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, we definitely had some trick plays in there. I uh, wish the, the second play of the game kind of went in our favor. But uh, I think just overall, you know, it just kind of shows the offense that we are. You know, we'll get a little bit tricky at, at times. And then, you know, when it comes down to it, fourth and one and kind of that, that fringe range, you know, we'll make that call and, and ultimately get it. How important is it, you know, new offense, everything fresh to come out and score on your first drive? Uh, it's very important. You know, it's obviously the first time we've gone against another team. So we've been five weeks battling against our own defense. So coming out here against a different opponent in a game atmosphere was, was really awesome. You guys are trying to sort of, um, you know, build up a, a reputation and get established in this new league. Is it important to be able to bring some excitement and kind of get the fans invested and, and show some of the things you guys showed today? Totally. Um, you know, as long as you're winning, there, you want to be a little bit of entertaining for the fans. So I think, you know, we did that today and, and the fans definitely showed out. Uh, what's the confidence level that you guys have um, after a game like this, especially because you guys scoring 27 points and you have these big momentum swings and you obviously see the confidence that Coach Wade has in you guys? What's what's your confidence going into next week and the weeks upcoming? There's definitely a lot of confidence going into next week, but, you know, in football you got to take it week by week. You know, we flip the page tomorrow, come on to a new, a new opponent, and I think, you know, We'll learn from today, and you know a lot of stuff will carry over. Um, and you know, definitely the emotions will be there next week, but it's going to be week to week for us. Was this your expectation uh, for week one coming out in a brand new offense with a bunch of brand new skill players and a, basically a brand new team? Yeah, I mean, we expected to win. We expected to to put points up as an offense. You know, we've been preaching that since we got here about a month ago in training camp, and I think you know overall we did pretty well. It's, you know, some things to clean up, obviously, but you know we're moving in the right direction. You think Brad's coming for your job after that play? Or? I told him he's got to warm up with the quarterbacks next week during practice because he threw a <laughs> touchdown pass. So, What was your perspective on that play, and how big of a momentum shift was that for you guys? Uh, well, obviously it was huge. You know, Quarterbacks aren't involved in special teams, so you know we don't really see it in practice. We're kind of doing our own thing. So when we saw it line up, we had no idea what was going to happen. Um, and when we saw you know Alex out there catching the ball, we were like, oh, wow. And he ended up scoring, which was great. So that was a huge momentum shift. He was mentioning, Alex was mentioning that now he's going to probably want a little bit more plays offensively to, you know, maybe catch some touchdowns from you. Is that something you may be interested in, in looking at? Or is it like, okay, no, I, I need you to protect me? Uh, a little bit of both. You know, it'll be hard to get the center involved, maybe a, a tackle or something and kind of an unbalanced play. But, you know, we'll see what we can do with Alex. You and I spoke yesterday about the excitement of coming into this game and seeing, you know, your home crowd and playing here in the Alamo Dome. What was your first experience like playing here in front of this home crowd? You know, the, the city of San Antonio has been great. Uh, the fans were awesome, you know, very loud, especially when they had the ball on offense. Um, and I think, you know, overall, you know, if we keep winning, and you know, the fans will keep showing and it'll be great. No coach is going to go into a locker room after a win and, and say that everything was completely perfect. What, what are some things maybe you saw that you want to clean up for you as you go into the next week? Um, well, there's little things here and there. You know, procedurally, we gotta we got to clean some, th- some things up. You know, it's first time kind of with a play clock and all. So first game, there's going to be some mistakes here and there. Um, you know, took a couple unnecessary sacks, got to get the ball out. Um, you know, better placement on some, on some throws. So, you know, physical things that we can clean up, we'll, we'll attack this week in practice. Chase, this is your first taste of spring football. What was your thoughts overall on just the quality of talent out there and the level of play in the league? Well, I, I, from the beginning, I said, you know, there was a lot of talent on, on each and every roster. And, you know, coming in the first days of practice for our team, I, I saw there was a lot of talent there. Um, you know, it is what I expected from a play standpoint. You know, it's exactly – it's professional football. There's great guys on, on every team. Um, and it definitely lived up to the expectations. Is it strange at all being mic'd up? You have to watch what you say out there? Yeah. I was told yesterday that I'd be mic'd up, so definitely had to be a little bit careful. No, uh, after the touchdown run, the cameras caught you with the, we'll call it like a soft expletive. It wasn't anything that's going to offend too many people, but I wasn't sure if you heard from mom after the game or something like that. Uh, no, I heard from a buddy. He said he heard it, so, you know, we'll, we'll clean that up.
think they also caught you saying that you have dinner reservations tonight at 830. You got to, you know, get get out of here. Where are you guys going? Uh, well, <laughs> Easter Sunday, it's tough to get a reservation. So we do have a, uh, a quite a long bus ride back to kind of the Dallas Fort Worth area. Uh, and last question on a more serious on a more serious note, uh, the confidence that Coach Wade showed in the first half in you guys and in the offense, but going for it three times. Obviously, the last one uh, wasn't you particularly, but um, what does that say about his confidence in you being the quarterback uh, after you were just won this quarterback battle in in training camp? I think it shows a lot, um, you know, to who we have on offense and you know just the strategy of Coach Wade overall, you know. Once we cross that 50, we're not afraid to go for it. Um, you know, definitely want to get as mu- as many points as possible. So, you know, he put us in the position to do so. Chase, it felt like uh, you were tossing the balls to your teammate, um, John Trey Kirkland, the entire game. What was the reason behind that? Why was he such a, a target that was so easily throwable to? Well, John Trey's a great player. You know, I definitely learned that early on in camp. Um, And I think, you know, it's just taking what the defense gives us. You know, a defense like D.C., you know, you got to take some stuff underneath. And and John Trey happened to be the guy in that time. Um, It wasn't game plan specific. We weren't trying to get John Trey 13 catches or whatnot, but it just happened to do that. Yeah, what what an exciting start uh, to the season. Uh, You know, we wanted to. Our first first challenge was to to play well at home, you know, uh, and I thought we really did that. The home crowd helped us certainly, uh, and uh, you know you got to have something to fall back on, and we we fell back on our on our fans and bl- playing at home. Uh, that was important to us. Uh, we were the biggest underdog in the league. We were uh, we had a little chip on our shoulder, I think, going into the ball game. They picked us last in the whole league. Uh, uh, all the whoever they are, whoever picks that, but uh, but we were the biggest underdog in the league, and we came out the only XFL team to have a win. So we're actually in first place after one game. So that, that's a pretty good start. Coach, in the first half, you guys went for it three times on fourth down, I believe. What was was that your game plan coming in? We're going to come out. We're going to be aggressive. Yeah. Uh, well. Yeah, in our in our territory, you know. I mean, if we if we were in plus territory, that was, uh, you know, we had, we had planned to say, you know, once we cross the fifty and it's fourth and three yards or less, you know, then we're going to go for it. So uh, that was our plan going in. Analytics probably says that I, I'm not I'm not the analyst, but that was what we uh, we determined going into the ball game. Uh, because of our team, we felt like we could make those plays, number one. And we have an aggressive team. You saw that. I mean, the uh, offense and the defense and special teams are aggressive. So uh, it's all a part of what they do well. Coach, uh, in the first half especially, but second half as well, your guys' offensive output was staggeringly higher than the Brahmas were last year. What is a good off? Sure. The, Brahma, the Brahma's offense was not one of the best in the league last year, yeah. and you guys, your guys' output today was very good. What, was, what were those conversations coming into this game of, of trying to get, you know, kind of hit the ground running? Well, we we're, we feel confident. I mean, uh, A.J. Smith, uh, you know, has put together the, I call it the Leach offense, in, in honor of Mike Leach. He really, he was with the Air Raid and, uh, and, and was, uh, and I knew real well, and so, he, yeah, that that offense is uh, is an aggressive, wide open offense, and uh, that's what we look for when we put together. Uh, Mark Littlebridge, our GM, helped put together the players. You know, we we concentrated on wide receivers. Uh, we needed some tight ends this year that could that could uh, uh, be threats as far as receivers are concerned. So, uh, and, and so we, you know, we we felt like with that offense playing the Phillips defense that, that uh, we could do some things. Uh, and lastly, for me at least, um, at the end of the first half, obviously the ultimate no, 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 yes play uh, for the game. What was your uh, kind of vantage point on that, and when did you decide that you were going to well, let your punter throw to your center? <laughs> well, uh, you talking about the fake, right? Yeah. Yes, uh, we had. Yeah, you know, I mean, we had it obviously in our entourage. I mean, we we had. It, as a play that we might could run in the game. Uh, I thought the situation was right in that even if we didn't make it, 
they, I didn't think they had enough time to score, and so uh, before the half, so it was worth taking a shot. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I'd like to take credit and say, hey, it's just the way we planned it. But you know, if you throw it to a to your center on the <laughs> on a pass play, uh, it really wasn't the first option. So, uh, but our punter did a great job. He, you know, the guy we thought was going to be open with our tight end kind of running across the field, and they actually had two guys on him. And then our second choice was the punter, I mean the kicker, who you really don't want to throw it to anyway, but he was, he was covered, and nobody covered our our center who was, who had checked. Now, we did the right job. We checked in. He checked in the ball game. He was the eligible receiver, and he was really our third option that was wide open. <laughs> and so, our, uh, so Brad Wing did a great job of, I told him, I said, I've never had a had a, uh, a, a punter go to the third read <laughs> and, and complete a ball for a touchdown. So, uh, yeah, that. I mean, we we had a we had a touchdown call back in the first half too. I mean, I thought we were at least today we were the better team, you know. So, and it certainly turned out that way. Coach Brad said you guys hadn't even hit that play in practice on the times you tried it. Is that true? And then what gave you the confidence to go no, back to it? No, no. We, we hit it, but not to him. <laughs> we, yeah, we, our primary receiver was uh, – and we got it from a play that teams had run before and, and you know, it had been wide open. And, and I thought it would be on that, but they, they came out of the – you know, they came out of their rush. They didn't all rush, which normally they do. And uh, – and actually covered the receiver, the, the uh, Mac, our tight end, who we thought was going to be open, was open every time in practice. We pulled it on ourselves in practice and it scored. So, you know, uh, so you know, we thought going in we had a chance to do it, but uh, yeah, but our punter just he pulled it out of a hat, really. You talked about the fourth downs already, and you guys dialed up a couple other trick plays. I know the second play of the game, it was a wide receiver pass. Was it just important to try to maybe make some excitement or generate some spark getting this team out here for the first time? Well, again, you know, we thought it was a good play and, and had a chance to get behind them, but it didn't. Didn't they? They did a good job of that. So uh, they were a good team. Now, you know, they were 10, 10 wins last year. Lost the championship XFL championship game here uh, to Arlington, and uh, they. Uh, they had all their players back from last year. We had a whole new team, a few of the Brahmas players from last year, a few of the rough, uh, Roughnecks players. Like I say, we were the biggest underdog in the league, but our team came together fast. And I, that, our, our offense uh, did some really good things. Our defense really played well, held, held them. The big key also was the defense holding the field goals. You know, I mean, that was the difference in the ball game, also, and the defense intercepting and running it all the way back was 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 the uh, the final hammer. You know, that that won the game. And one of the bits that led to that, you were able to challenge that a false start had occurred. It's not a luxury you would have in the NFL. What is it like as a coach to have that kind of an opportunity to do that and yeah, make an impact? Yeah, um, yeah, the NFL. I'm sure they need. To, well, actually, that was a Bill Belichick for a long time wanted that rule that you'd have one challenge that you could challenge anything, holding, you know, whatever. Now, the good thing in our league is is uh, the first downs and all that stuff, they, they'll they overturn it. You know, Dean Blandino in, in the box will overturn it. You know, the completion, non-complete, all that stuff. You don't have to challenge any of that stuff. Um, in fact, I wanted to challenge that, that we made it on fourth down, but, you know, he had already said from upstairs, no, it didn't. we didn't make it, so... Uh, that one time we ran quarterback sneak, so so you don't even have to challenge those, but it gives you a chance. Like Belichick, I mean, if it was a touchdown play, and if you can challenge that, which we obviously could, you know, it and it was really the right thing because he was offside I and mean, he did jump too early. So uh, so that was a big challenge, and that that's a that's a really my coaches did that upstairs, you know. So they said, hey. Coach, I, you know, and luckily we had a penalty that uh, stopped stopped everything, and we hadn't run another play yet. They hadn't run the the extra point yet, and that gave us some time. And they looked at it again and again and said, "Coach, that guy's offside." You know, I said, "Well," 
And I talked to the official. I said, we can, we can still challenge that. And he said, yes, you can if you want to. And I said, yep. So we did it. And it turned out, obviously, huge. I mean, we not only stopped them there, we intercepted and ran all the way down to the 10, 5-yard line. So uh, it went from touchdown to them to touchdown for us. That's a 14-point swing and a 15-point game. So they could have come a lot closer than they did. Coach, you kept mentioning how your team has been looked over and as an underdog this year, and especially in this league, how much of that has been a motivator for your guys? I really didn't tell them that. They don't believe they don't believe that anyway. They don't think they're underdogs. Uh, I, I could have used that, but I, they uh, is a motivation factor. But they didn't need to be motivated. This is the first game. You know, they wouldn't. They weren't going into it. Worrying about anything but trying to play their best, and that's all I asked them to do. What did you tell the team after the win of the locker room? I said, uh, uh, you having fun yet? <laughs> they, all, they all cheered, you know, and let's, let, let's hear it for the offense, defense, and the special teams, you know, because they all played really well. So, And, and uh, the part I like is the team part of it. You know, we all pull for each other, but all of them did their job. All of them made, enough, made plays to help win the game, so... We got a lot, you know. We got a game next week, but we got a lot going into that game next week with uh, confidence and playing well as a team. Coach, uh, what were your overall thoughts on the crowd today, the Alamo Dome, playing here in San Antonio, coaching in San Antonio? What were your thoughts on on the kind of the atmosphere of this opening? Yeah, game? it's a great atmosphere here. We, you know, we want to win some games where we get more and more people at the game, and that was part of it too. I mean, uh, like anywhere, I mean they. They'll come if you win enough games, you know. So, uh, so, but I thought we started on the right foot. I think more people will want to come out and see it in purpose, in person. It's a great family atmosphere too. I mean, it's the, the tickets are not overpriced, and you can bring the whole family out. You can even even come out on the field after the game, you know, see the players. So, it, it's a it's a great atmosphere. And coach. And coach, you've had aggressive corners your whole career, coaching from Mike Jenkins to Keep Jaleep, now to tonight. Your corners always tackle their playmakers. How do you think that they played tonight? Yeah, I thought we played really well. I mean, uh, uh, like I said, they, they were, you know they had a really good team last year. Uh, they had a lot of they had all uh, most most of the same players back, and uh, the quarterback was really all league quarterback last year. So. Um, I thought we played really well against him. We put pressure on him. That was good to see. We had uh, we had a lot of pressure on the quarterback, a lot of hits on the quarterback, intentional grounding, uh, things like that that they weren't used to, I think. Uh, they had to throw a lot of quick passes rather than holding the ball and throwing it downfield. So uh, just the aggressive player of our defense and our front. Our front and, and the coverage, the linebackers in the secondary are, are – uh, we played a lot of zone, though. I, I, I want to say we covered them really well, but we played a lot of zone defense and, and really broke on the ball well and uh, did those things really well. So uh, we can play man, uh, and that's a good thing. We, we played both, I mean, but when we played zone, zone I think it was a change up, and uh, they weren't c- quite ready for some of that. All right, thank you all.